the original Jackass, the way it got on MTV, tell me if I'm wrong. You and the guys went out and did all your stuff, uh -huh. and then you sold it to MTV. So in other words, the stuff had already been done. MTV wouldn't they have They knew you didn't die. Right, right, right. We submitted some footage from the skateboard videos we had done. That's right. There was one point I heard on the original tapes you gave to MTV. They wouldn't air this. You wanted somebody to shoot you with a bullet while you wore a bulletproof vest. Am yes. I correct? Okay. You couldn't find anyone to shoot you. You understand why? <laughs> well, I had my friend doing it, but we got out to the place to, uh, to do it, and he said, I'm not doing it. And the photographer refused to take pictures, and uh -huh. I was like, oh, boy. But you understand. Oh, boy. Look at these wimps. But <laughs> yeah. you understand why? If you die, they've essentially shot you, and they're going to end up in jail. Right. I understand why they didn't want to, but, that you know, I, I just shot myself. Right. So th that's the point of the story. So rather than give up on this crazy notion, you put on a bulletproof vest, and you took the gun and shot yourself in the chest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty now, close. I mean, th you don't know for real that it's going to work. People have died from that when the gun is too close. Well, and plus, I didn't have a lot of money at the time, so I could only afford the cheapest bulletproof vest they made. Right. And I called the place. I'm like, is you, are your vests really good? There's, our vests are great. They're the best in the business. Well, okay, well, this is what I'm going to do. Let us call you back. <laughs> and then they called back and said, we can't recommend you do that. And I was like, ah, oh, crap, I already said I would. Was the most dangerous thing you do in Jackass 3D when you uh, almost broke your neck, is that, is that, the, is that the, the stunt, so to speak, with well, the bull? He was on a bull. I tried to roller skate in a buffalo herd to... Yeah, what is that? <laughs> it's a Roger Miller song that I tried to bring to life. <laughs> you tried to roller skate into a buffalo herd. <laughs> yeah. All right, and, and what happened there? Well, Roger Miller was absolutely correct. You cannot roller skate in a buffalo herd. <laughs> they knocked the cow walking shit out of me. So how many buffalo hit into you? Will he be there was, uh, there was uh, three. Are they stampeding at that point? Yes. And they hit you full on? Yes. And sir. your body's thrown around like a rag doll, and yes. that's where you almost broke And that neck. was right after I did The Invisible Man. So I almost break my neck, and then I'm like, I go dust myself off, change clothes, and then get run over by a, some buffalo. How many, how many days in between the stunts? It, no, there was uh, maybe an hour and a half between the stunts. Hour and a half? Yeah. What's the Invisible Man? That's when I paint myself into a background. Yeah. In the, but in the middle of a bull ring. <laughs> <laughs> and the bull attacks you. I got flipped up in the air. Right before I hit the ground, the bull kicked me in the head, and it altered my course just enough where it honestly helped me. No fear when you go and do that. Yeah, there's fear. What what is the rush? Because you're getting it on film and you're going, man, millions of people are going to laugh at this, and I and I feel good about it. Uh, but the rush. I just after you shoot it, and then me and my friends sit around and look at the footage and laugh. But there's no real way of knowing if you'll get killed or not. I mean, there's no real way. The first time you do it, no, there's no no. Getting, you don't know what's going to happen. Really, you know the bull's going to try and smoke you, but you don't know. But the stunt isn't successful unless you get hit. When you're roller skating and right. the bulls are stampeding right. and they hit you, that's the humor. Yes. And you know you're going to have to get hit if it's going to be funny and successful. And in fact, if you get really thrown, it's going to be funny. And if anything short of dying will be funny. Yeah, dying gets a little dark, but, uh, you know. How many the... retakes do you do? I mean, are What's there that? retakes of these oh, if they don't work? Yeah, there's the retakes. Run? Like, I did a thing where I tried to catch a pass over the middle, uh, and I'd had Jared Allen of the Minnesota Vikings hit me yeah. while I was, you know, jumping up to catch the ball, and we shot that three times. And he Why? hits hard. He's like 6'6", six, six, uh -huh. and he was smoking me every time, but it wasn't, I could tell it wasn't what I wanted or we wanted. And be like, okay, let's do it again. Is there any technique involved in this so that you don't get hurt, or is it just like I'll just throw myself up there and see what happens? Well, you gotta you gotta commit and you gotta go in with the good uh, point of view. If if you get like real negative and you half commit, and then that's when you're really going to get you don't going to get hurt. You're going to get injured. I'm so shocked by you. I can't even. I mean, if I got a bruised rib, I'd be miserable. Bruised ribs suck, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, they don't, they're no fun. And I'm sure you got a bruised rib when you get hit by a bunch of bulls or a guy tackles you midair. I mean, come on. He kind of blew out my sternum right here. It was sticking wow. up for a while. It was sticking up. Doesn't Ugh. concern you. That's dangerous. <laughs> Do you go to a doctor for that or you just say, fuck it? Mm, just put it no. back. <laughs> you don't go to a not, doctor. Not that. What but do you I do went, when your sternum is sticking through your skin? I mean, it, it wasn't sticking through my skin. It was just kind of popped up. Yeah, popped out. So what do you do? You laugh and then you just push on it. Or I didn't even tell. It or I told uh, 
one friend about him telling anybody about it. Why? I don't know. I just... You don't like to complain? Uh, I just didn't see any reason to. Like, if it was if it was really bad, I'd go to the doctor. If a guy complains, is he a pussy? No, not at all. Is there the... a doctor on the set? Oh, we have ambulances and, do- and medics. Uh-huh. And... Is, it, is this the end of the Jackass franchise now? I mean, is, are you done now after Jackass 3D? Are you going to hang it up? I mean, you've gotten away with this for 39 years, all this crazy stunt behavior. Is that it? Are you done? Well, we said we were done after one and after two, and here we're doing a third. We're not going to make any predictions anymore. Right. We're the wrong people to ask.